Shark. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Nice to see you. Hey. Nice to uh, nice to hear you. Hold on. Let me get your name up on the screen. Um, Shark Rio Zero. Correct. Is that how it's spelled? Yes. Shark. Oh, and also I I hear myself. Oh, that's odd. Um, I don't know why that would be. Uh, it's probably some audio feedback. How bad is it? Is it un- intolerable? Um, well, it comes back to me actually louder than, um... That's really weird. Uh... Wait, I think it's, uh, wait, I think it, uh, it fixed itself? Okay, alright, sick. Yeah, sorry about that, I don't know... We, we love it when problems fix themselves. Yeah, me too, but it's, it's, I've been having some issues with my audio setup, so it can be a little bit frustrating sometimes. Um... No, you're fine. (laughs) So... We, me and my chat, we were just, we were just thinking, um... Only if we could get everyone together from this hippy dippy, and we could get into a Discord call and all listen to John Lennon's Imagine. Yeah, I think um, it would basically fix all of our problems. Yeah, maybe. I mean, we listen to some Darkwood. Uh, the Darkwood soundtrack is very soothing to me. Now I'm feeling quite calm. <laughs> um, so that's yeah. great. Hey, you did fantastic. We were watching a little bit. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate it. It was the first time I was ever on um, uh, hippy dippy, and Wait, uh, it really? was it was a wild experience. I swear to God. Um. Oh, uh, awesome. Um, thanks, dude. Sorry, I just, uh, somebody just, yeah, there we go. Uh, super chat, uh, somebody threatening me with docs b- via super chat. That's fun. Oh, I'm, um, love I'm that. so sorry. No, oh, no, it, this has been going on for quite a while. Um, I, I actually have, uh, quite a lot of people who are out, out for my blood, I guess. Um, whatever. Um, it is, it's incredible how far people <laughs> take, like, tiny internet beefs. Yeah. Um, like, like in real life, like, jeez. Yeah, um, it's pretty like, weird. I'm, I'm not even like full time like streamer or anything, and uh, it's <laughs> I, I can see the stuff that you guys go through. It's a lot. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Uh, honestly, it's very tiring to me. Um, it's it's uh, the harassment is probably the hardest thing I've dealt with in all of this. Um, you know, I I I have never lived with this many people having their eyes on me, and a lot of people apparently put their eyes on me and decide they want me dead or uh, hurt. And that's very weird to me. A very weird thing to grapple with. Still learning how to deal with it. Um, but, you know, you roll with the punches, I guess. And yeah, I, I I guess so. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really sorry about that. You know, we all just wish that we could just, you know, we all just want to make the world better um, in, in our own way. Just, you know, um, make good content, help people learn, make it make the world more fair. And uh, just some people, they just can't handle it, I guess. Yeah, some people really, I mean, some people just, I don't know. I think I think people have uh, different view viewpoints of of how the world works and uh, and uh, oh, yeah, yeah, people. definitely. Yeah. And some of them, some of those people include uh, uh, getting very angry at at uh, at, at uh, people that they deem are degenerates on the internet, and then justifying basically anything that they say or do about them. It's very unfortunate. It is uh, that is probably awesome. probably tr- truly probably the most exhausting part of all of this, and the part that makes me uh, wonder how. Like how much I can actually take, you know? It's hard. Yeah, I mean, you'll you'll definitely. I mean, you one hundred. I mean, I, but I don't even think I get like a quarter of of what you get, and I I take breaks sometimes, um, mm-hmm. just just for me. But uh, you know, it's yeah. I I, just, I did want to call in just say um to say hey, you did you did really well. Um, and even though you know it was um the whole thing was uh stolen from me, I um <laughs> I, I think you I think you I did think great. You, did really, uh, you you use he him pronouns, correct? Yes, I do. Okay. Sorry, I just want to make sure. I realized I forgot to ask because I'm, I'm actually getting quite tired. Um, and I apologize. No problem. I had to click on your account because I, I know you use like she, her, and uh, also they, them. I was like, um, I don't know yeah. which one. I, I use she, her. Um, you know, I mean, I, I, I've sort of experimented with they, them on my, my server, but I, I usually just list she, her. But I'm okay. I'm not going to be harmed or anything or mad if people just they, them. You know, I just, I, I, yeah, no I've, problem. I've only, I, just... I haven't really, uh, it's something personal that I've sort of been figuring out what I want to do for myself. And, uh, and so, you know, on my on my Discord server, uh, I'm a little more comfortable with people, uh, you know, doing that. But everywhere else, I, I push you. But it's not a big deal. Yeah, no so. problem. Like, I mean, for me, I just do it as like a respect thing. For me, it makes sense yeah. in the black and you know, in the black community in my family, names are very, very important. Yeah, yeah. Um, and get get them right. You know, my my I remember my grandma um was always like always up on people when uh, they'd mess up my dad's name. His name's Aaron. Something'd mm-hmm. be like like Aaron or something, and yeah. she'd like. She'd she'd lose it. Yeah, I mean, names um, are one of those things that they they, they sort of uh, 
piece of how we declare our identity. It's a huge part. Yeah, so, that's you know, who I try are. to be respectful. Uh, the thing is, I have a lot of problems with pronunciation. I do remember a lot of people's names um, in chat. And usually when people correct me, I've been uh, historically pretty good. But sometimes, you know, chat moves too fast and I can't remember the pronunciation on everybody. So, yeah. Oh, I am absolutely, I'm terrible with names. It's honestly one of the hardest parts about streaming. Mm -hmm. You see someone's name pop up and you're like, well, I got to call this name out because they just subbed. <laughs> but also, I'm not even sure if like it's in the English language, letters go together in that way to make a sound yeah. that I would recognize. So. I get some funny <laughs> names. I have somebody in my uh, YouTube chat whose name is like, I read it out. And, I, and this one I'm proud of getting every time because they're they're a long time chatter. Uh, but their name is like, is like, I think it's I am high and a little pog champ. Ooh, woo, ooh, woo, ooh, 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 woo, uh, mama mall. Um, cause you got put, that right on the first try. I think so. I don't, I can't, I might be misremembering cause they do change the emotes that are in there from time to time, but I, I do a pretty good job getting it, uh, getting it down, uh, from my YouTube chat. I've done, I've really tried to get it memorized down so I can fire it out. Cause I do a, uh. I do a roll call kind of joke thing at the beginning of every stream where every name I see, I just kind of call it out. Oh, I forgot actual God. That's right. I forgot. I forgot they added actual God recently. So see, I didn't even remember it correctly this time. Usually I can pull it off when it's in chat. I try to do a roll call of everybody. So that's incredible. You're like giving Noam Chomsky a run for the linguistics with with that one. Honestly, I hope so. I mean, listen, <laughs> Can you know, listen the, the seat's going to be. Oh, no, that's a terrible joke. Uh, I hope I hope Noam Chomsky lives for a very long time. Uh, I really actually oh, that, um, hugely respect uh, Noam Chomsky, but he is like two thousand yeah, years old. Um, yeah, the thing. Yeah, he's like he, he's up there. How old is that man? Like ninety? He has I think to be he's. Like 90. Uh, he looks ninety. Actually, I can tell you. We looked it up before. I think he's ninety three. Is what it, what it was. But let me double check. Uh, hold on, Noam Chomsky. How old is he? Being that old, he should like ninety two. Like DM yep, the queen. Ninety two. Yeah. Ninety two. He should DM the queen. Maybe they could uh, hit something yeah, off. Yeah, maybe they could hit off. I don't know. I I think he has a. I mean, he's he's kind of anarcho leaning, right? So no gods, no masters. I don't know how. I don't know how much of a fan he is of of monarchy. Yeah, but you can treat his lady like a queen. True. That's true. That's true. I mean, you bring up a good point. <laughs> but maybe, maybe they can. Maybe it'll be like maybe they'll be star-crossed lovers, the anarchist and the and the literal monarch. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. I don't know. I'll email it. Uh, he replies to all the emails, so maybe he'll um ask he'll reply and be like, you know, this is yeah. a good idea. Would you pound if you send an email to Noam Chomsky that just says, "Would you pound the queen of England?" Do you know, <laughs> do you think he'd respond to that? Yeah, he'd be like, um, agree. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. He'd be like, "Yeah, sure, totally. Be great. Sounds great. Yeah, Let's set it up. Definitely. Set Have it you up. seen her? Yeah, set it up. Yeah, listen, woman of <laughs> woman of power and stature, I guess. Truly powerful. We love powerful women. Yeah, yeah. Always be a girl boss, and always be a girl boss, and we got the girl bosses in chat. We got girl boss Marcy in chat. We've got the girl boss, the original girl. Oh, boss. you do? Yeah, we do. Yeah, That's we do. Hey, oh, you know what? B okay, I have to... We just got done with drama, but I'm here for more drama. All right, You're here I'm sorry. for more drama. Too late. What's the drama? Here for more drama. I was watching your stream earlier uh -huh. before Ippy Dippy was live, uh -huh. and I saw Vermin in chat, uh -huh. and they said that the only reason that they were watching was because you were there, mm -hmm. and I was I shed a little tear oh. in the pre-stream. Well, I mean, what can I say? I have a lot of allure, um, you know. <laughs> uh, so sorry. I'm sure you can take that up with Vermin. Uh, I think Vermin's been called out enough tonight, though, to be completely honest. Uh, and so, oh no, what yeah. happened? Oh, you didn't catch the end. It wasn't very nice. No, I, I no, no, I didn't. I uh, was um, uh, I was just chilling out with chat after that. Destiny, I had to cool down. Yeah, Destiny had some choice words that he decided to scream out about uh, about Roman. Something that I don't really. I mean, super respect doesn't for. doesn't he doesn't he still blame them for like getting banned um during the Kenosha stuff? Yeah, but that's a conspiracy theory. That's like, that's such a conspiracy. Like, I don't know. Do we do we allow that type? Like, I don't know. Do we let that just fly like with no evidence whatsoever? I'll, I'll... I think that's very silly. All, all I'm saying is that I, I just remember that's the that's the that's the animosity the line, that I remember. Yeah. I mean, he said a lot from. of things about me in the last couple of days that are really dishonest. Uh, but whatever. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of the of the level of dishonesty. I'm not a big fan of like how much shit has been lied about about me. It's very very frustrating and, and draining, um, especially as somebody who really does. I really do do my best to be honest. I'm not I'm not like a weaselly person. I'm very straightforward. If people ask me things, I tell them my opinion, very honestly. Um, yeah, I was, yeah. the the thing is, like, this was, like, surprisingly, um, far-reaching, the, yeah. um, uh, the self-diagnosis thing that even reached my chat. My yeah, chat's usually pretty chill. We typically don't, they typically don't bring, bring drama stuff like that to me. Yeah. Um, well, so I was like, this is interesting. Yeah, um, I mean, I think that, um, I mean, I'll get, I'll, again, I'll give you my very honest, by the way, I'm giving you a fancy name in chat, uh, just so you know. 
Um, I appreciate. Yeah, it, you but, deserve but it. before can I? Sure. I, I was just gonna say so. Like I, I didn't, I didn't watch your um mm-hmm. your your thing on it. And I wasn't. A part yeah, of nobody that else did so. either. No one did. No one actually <laughs> so watched was, the segment. So I, was, <laughs> so I was like, if I was to imagine, if uh-huh. I was to imagine, uh-huh. um, what Dean Mama's point was uh-huh. is that it, it's important to understand the symptoms that uh-huh. you have and be able to relay that to a doctor or to be able to cope with um a uh, perceived like mental illness that uh-huh. you may have. Uh-huh. Um. And that's like that's that's what I imagine like the take was, yeah. and that you use the word self the word self diagnosis. Yeah, because um, I mean, lots of people, people had contention with. Yeah, I don't know why because people use the term self diagnosis all the time. It's just like commonly used. And and again, I have I literally have in my community multiple licensed professional counselors who are like, this is there's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing that you said that was wrong here. Uh, people just lied about uh, not only the context but also the conclusions, like just straight up. And then everybody has been reacting to it because I don't know. There's a lot of animosity towards me. People have a lot of opinions about me. People say some pretty wild shit that I don't think is based, uh, that is based on anything in reality. Also, I don't think it's based. Um, but yeah, uh, so it was very frustrating for me. This particular, uh, this particular, like, I don't know, you want to call this a cancellation? I don't know, whatever the hell it is, um, is, is, per- was particularly surprising to me because, um, the level of the rhetoric was like, I'm dangerous, I'm harming people. And like, my video was super long. Like, my video was really long and I go in great depth to discuss things and people brought up in chat, like, oh, hey, like, you know, don't, uh, you know, I, I are you are you trying to say like doctors are bad? And I'm like, no, I literally never made that argument. In fact, I but I but I do point out that there are massive flaws in our medical system, especially here in America. We have some serious issues with it, and sometimes that can affect an individual. And there are certain best practices that people should do. Self diagnosis, being aware of what's going on with your body, being aware of what could be wrong with you, is how you find your way to go get any sort of professional diagnosis. And it also um, that sort of thing. Patient advocacy is another term that people use um, for once you start talking to a professional. Patient advocacy is incredibly important. Um, it is a documented fact, a well-documented fact that uh, uh, people of color, women, and uh, and uh, overweight people are uh, severely, uh, severely under-listened to by their doctors. Patient advocacy touches on this. And like I said, uh, if if doctors are literally the only people who get to make any decisions about their patient's health, not the patient. Don't we believe in bodily autonomy? This is ridiculous. If you feel like you're like the doctor that you're with isn't doing a good job, get a second opinion. I literally talk about that. I literally tell people that if your therapist is like, like I had a therapist who was a Christian therapist who told me to wait, uh, that I shouldn't, that I shouldn't rush into transition, even though I'd been thinking about it for a very long time, even though I knew what I was talking about, even though I knew what I wanted, who said that I should wait a decade. So of course I fo- I thought a se- I sought out a second opinion and the second opinion actually diagnosed me under the current uh rules at the time for diagnosis. The first one refused to even attempt to diagnose me. He simp- he was a Christian counselor but who had a license. And unfortunately, those types of people exist. I've met a lot of people uh in my life um who have had uh you know, poor experiences with specific doctors. That's not just, that's, this is not anti-intellectualism to say patient advocacy is incredibly important. And in fact, something I didn't get to bring up on the panel, um, was that the biggest healthcare provider in the United States, Kaiser Permanente, published a massive research on this, um, uh, talking about how, um, how uh, there's a, ma- a a huge issue in ment- specifically in mental health with people's needs not being listened to people who end up getting a depression diagnosis who tr- who who were desperately trying to tell people that they had depression for years and that and and then upon in per- further investigation again this is a a private company self auditing and challenging the American medical system they're saying that a uh, diagnosis is extremely fucked in America and the reason for that is because there are a whole lot of um psychologists uh who uh let their ideology get in the get in the way there are people uh there's a lot of bias there are people who um aren't up to date i mean i have a personal experience with this that i've talked about in the past when i went to uh when i was getting a gender confirming surgery um many many years ago and not even the full uh srs just a minimally invasive uh gender confirming surgery um, I had to have two psyche valves, which I think is an injustice to begin with. But the second psyche valve that I had, it was very hard for me to find another uh, person who accepted my insurance. And the person that I got ran me through an eval from the DSM-2. Do you know what number of DSM we're on? We're on five, right? Five, yes. And at the time, it was four. The five was, was just about to come out. They were giving me uh, questions from the DSM-2, and that was what was standing between me and I knew this because I literally saw the papers and I knew the questions because I did the research. I know what, I know what they're, I know what they ask you. 
This is publicly available information. And I knew that I was being asked questions from the, sec the DSM-2. There were two options. I could either engage with that and get my psyche valve, or I could say, oh, this I need to appeal for this. I need to get a special thing that would have pushed it back for months. And as it turns out, it's, it's a very complicated process. You get pinched and put in a position. So yeah, I mean, thankfully, um, you know, nothing bad happened. But um, it's really crazy that I have to do two psyche valves and one of them is not even using up-to-date materials. There's nothing you can do about that. What am I supposed to do? Bring up a, sue uh, sue them and and bring in the state and go to, go to, um, you know, go to court over whether they use the right version or not. I don't even know if there's a legal, you know, there's a legal pathway for that. Um, and so I just, I, I, I think that uh, there's a lot of stuff to be talked about. And I feel that with this, sorry, I've been ranting for a while, but um, with regard to this, there was a, a lot of, in my opinion, um, very motivated reasoning going into this, a lot of exaggeration and hyperbole. And every single person I asked whether they actually watched the video, turns out they didn't actually watch my video. That's really unfortunate and super disrespectful. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I everything everything you just uh just about say is agreeable. I'm just um the only the only like real contention I would ever have would mm -hmm. be um using the term self diagnosis just period. Okay. Um, like for me when I when I think about it. When I when I hear self diagnosis, and for me personally, I was um, I was never in like a special kids class, mm -hmm. but um, I I was like uh, I had like tutors and stuff with my ADHD mm -hmm. growing up. Mm -hmm. It was uh, a lot worse when I was uh, in baby mode. Yeah. Uh, but 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 with like that being said, we didn't like to use that word like self diagnosis, mm -hmm. and I and I saw that a lot. Um, when I was growing up, people. Um, like self di like you know, self diagnosing themselves, like uh, not going, in, not going to the doctor, um, and and like doing the small amount of reading that I have. Uh, some doctors they have a, they said they had a problem with it, not necessarily because you could be wrong, mm -hmm. but you could be right, and then not go into the doctor because you feel like you have it handled. Um, well, for never, me, if but, I, I mean, was but to again, talk about that's it. then. No, I, I wish people would have engaged with what I actually said because I never once said that people should seek out. Yeah, uh, yeah, you, yeah. You didn't, you didn't say that. Oh, there just, actually I, is a spot. Just, there is a spot where I would, uh, where people probably would get very mad at me. But, um, but I think that there is a very justifiable argument out there um, for a certain level of um, of trans self med, especially in places like um, uh, the Middle East where it's literally illegal. Um, and in fact, I'm not the, by the way, I'm not the only person who, who agrees with that. Literally, um, numerous doctors have published public documents with the, uh, with the way to, uh, with the necessary parameters so that you can get blood tests to safely do it and the exact dosages that you would need to self-med because they believe that the, uh, treatment of trans people is so disgusting, um, that it is justified to self, that for, for some people to self-med. Now I would say people should be very careful with that. But it is something that I think is a very real problem. And I think that people who ignore that are doing a disservice to trans people who've been uh, very wrongfully treated. Um, that's different than mental health, but it certainly can be, uh, it's, it can certainly complicate mental health. No, yeah, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. But but just saying like, uh, and, I, and I can definitely agree with that. Mm -hmm. uh, just just for me, I, if, I was, if I was to bring it up on my stream or like do a segment on it or anything, mm -hmm. personally, I would say like uh, self-hypothesize self about what, <laughs> oh, um, what, what, on, what like... you could have. This is, there's many, this is, this is ultimately, this is the thing. I was being, I was being framed by many, many people as being irresponsible, dangerous, I think was the word that uh, Destiny used for me multiple times, um, that it was, uh, that I should be removed from the platform for it, and uh, all of this over whether they think my use of the word self-diagnosis um, was correct or not. I think that's a ridiculous. No, yeah, like, no, I'm, I'm, I feel, that's I feel where I'm you're coming from. I get you, but like. At the same time, do do is it really that contentious for me to say something like self diagnosis? Like I never said anything um, about self med. It, it I never said be. anything about. I never said anything about avoiding doctors. In fact, in my video, I explicitly tell people that um, for a lot of people, that is the absolute answer. For some people, uh, if you have a, a a inkling that you might have ADHD and uh, you decide to adopt some of the practices, the like at home practices, which are you know, published online by major psychological organizations to specifically help people who might not be able to get a diagnosis, you can implement those habits. And of course, you should go see a doctor if you're going to be taking any medication, especially for ADHD. But nobody tried to engage in this in, in, in real faith. Do you really yeah, think it's like... But I'm... But, I'm, but, but I... I no, nothing about that okay. is, is, what, is what I'm bringing here. Right, for me fine. personally, all, all, I'm, all I'm saying is if I was in your position and, I, and, I, and this like came across my my desk like oh we should probably cover this what all, all i'm saying is that i would like personally 
um, and this is from a rhetoric standpoint, but from my um, diving into politics, I, I've, I've started to come to realize that sometimes the way you say something is sometimes even more important than what you're saying. I mean, yeah. the right just completely runs off of just pure rhetoric and mm -hmm. they've built an entire political movement off of it. Mm -hmm. So, and I feel like they have very, very little like actual policy at all. Mm -hmm. um, so, so sometimes a small change in words can be one of the biggest things that you could do. Yeah. Um, just, so all I'm saying is just for me personally, if I was to tackle this, I would just say self hypothesis sure. because it, then you could like leave for me personally, you know, I was, I was in, um, engineering in high school. Uh, so I have that more like analytical sort of uh, approach to something like that. I'd be like the hypothesis and then it would go very well with what you said with like, it's the most important step, right? How do you, like, how do you have a scientific process? I mean, mental health, um, diagnosis, that's a science at the end of the day. Um, the one of the most important things that you can do is have a hypothesis. How do you even get started if you don't have a hypothesis about anything? So you can understand what you're doing. You can understand your symptoms and you could be like, Hey, I have this hypothesis that I may have this. I may have that. Um, and then you can go to the doctor about that. Just, and I, I feel like, I feel like, um, if I was, if I was there on like ground level, that's how I would, that's how I would tackle. I just wanted to bring that idea yeah. to you. I mean, I feel like, like, like I what feel do you like, think about it? no, I hear what you're saying. I mean, personally, I don't think that that's, um, I don't really agree that it's necessary. I think saying self-diagnosis is a perfectly good way, especially in the context that I brought it up and the way that I described it. Um, I do agree that your, like rhetoric and the way you say things is important, but I don't think I did anything. Uh, I don't think I did anything irresponsible. I think if some people were really confused about it, um, which some people apparently were, but interestingly, this video is one of my is a video that's been out for quite a while. Thousands of people have seen it. Nobody had a problem with my take until somebody reviewed it and said that I was being morally bad, and that's very interesting to me. So I think there's a lot of like um, I think there's a lot of uh, unfair uncharitability towards that. Maybe maybe people could say it's the wrong word. I don't think it's the wrong word. I think I was perfectly clear in what I was saying, but that's fine. I think that's all, that's always the case. And I mean, this hardly is the first time I've been accused of this as well. I mean, uh, I had a, I was called for weeks transphobic because I said that I believed in uh, gender self ID and I do believe in that. And I have a very strong argument for that, I believe. But, Are you um, referring to like um, the, 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 the infamous RGR. RGR debate? Yeah, it was horrible and stupid. And people yeah, me were and, very um, dishonest. Me and Stream, we went over that. Yeah, I, I, I think I uh, agree with more your point. But yeah. still, like, once again, like, <laughs> I think one of the biggest things probably just uh, is, uh, is the rhetoric. Just, well, and, yeah, you know, but I mean, being but a very again, context important. again, I understand that people want to have a rhetoric problem. But um, keep in mind that this was literally our aid of my stream. The context for that debate was that it came on the tails of a debate about King Kong versus Godzilla. And I tried yeah. to leave the debate. <laughs> yeah. I tried to leave the debate multiple times. The moment I even shared my opinion, I was immediately jumped on and told that I was a uh, irresponsible. I was I was an irresponsible trans public figure, which I think that's a pretty fucking low blow. That that hurts. And uh, yeah, like, and, uh, I think a lot yeah. of the stuff that was said about you was pretty pretty horrible. Unfair. Yeah, fair. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But but uh, uh, the only thing I would say would be that sometimes when when we're talking and we feel like we've been very clear uh -huh. um it, it's how the sometimes it's how the audience takes it mm -hmm. and obviously your audience is probably perfectly fine with it but to like a broader audience sometimes um oh. it those some sometimes we can get lost in a little they can get lost in the sauce they can get lost um, in the sauce so but, I, I say, mean also but i mean come on like we all know where all the, where all where this came from we all know who reviewed the video we all know what they said about it I don't think that this is a, a situation where I should be like, I feel like the, uh, the, the margin of error is deeply on the side of people having a hostile and uncharitable interpretation of my video based on clips that were react to by somebody who admittedly hates my guts, wants me to disappear off the internet and die. So yeah, um, I, I get you. I hear, no, yeah, I, I hear where you're coming yeah, from. I it's just, I just don't I, think it applies yeah, I completely very well agree. here. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, uh, just, um, you know, I mean, just when when you have so many people that just like hate you, uh, I, maybe I, I should can, maybe well, I should just not say anything lie. at all. Maybe I should just shut up. Maybe no. that would make so many people hate me. They're going to keep misinterpreting me. I guess I'm doing damage by speaking. I don't know. Sorry, I know you're not really I, making that I, argument, but like here here no, where I'm coming from, not. right? Here where I'm coming from. Like the idea no, that I, no, like, I'm constantly beset you. by I the mean, most by the most uncharitable interpretations, and the conclusion of that is that I need to be driven off the internet. And um, God, it sucks. That's just a horrible. Yeah, I don't why would, why would anybody? That I, I know exactly how you feel. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, I don't want to pretend because I'm not. I'm not in your shoes. Yeah. Um. But I. I. You know. Yeah. I don't know.
I just, I just wanted to bring some bring some ideas I feel you. to you. I feel maybe. I hear, I hear if, your critiques. Yeah. I, I uh, respectfully uh, don't think that I chose my words particularly badly. And also, even if I had uh, chosen semantically the wrong word, I think that my overall argument, the full video speaks for itself, which, again, nobody watched. Um, but that's OK. You know, whatever. Uh, we live in a post-truth era. So uh, such is life. But it's not OK, right? Um, no, it's not OK. It's not OK at all. Um, but but what say do I have in that? I haven't had a say in that for fucking a long time. Um, nobody cares. Nobody cares what the truth is, um, especially in this space online. Um, nobody even tries to give a shit about what the truth is. There's been so many lies that have circled around me that are just verifiably false. It's so constant that it makes me, uh, it makes me uh, hate everything. It makes me hate engaging with this space. And uh, it sucks. And I understand why there's uh, basically nobody... Uh, there's very, very few uh, trans streamers. Why there's very, very few uh, minority streamers in general. Why there's very few femme streamers. Hey. Yeah, sucks. I understand it. I understand it firsthand. So, yeah, it's not okay. It isn't, but whatever. It, it happens. It's happened many times. It's happened for eight months since I had, uh, since I got that Vosh raid and got a little bit of bump in notoriety and came on people's radars. That's what's happened. So, yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um. I'm sorry. No, you don't got anything to be sorry for. You've been fair to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I like being fair to people. Um, I have a lot of respect. For last you. thing, you know, yeah, you know, just treat treat your neighbor how you want to be treated. Absolutely. Um, I think I think that can take people very far. Uh, it seems like a lot of the times, um, power overrides truth when it comes to when it comes to that. Whoever has the most power in the situation. Um, people flock to them and, and think that they're the most they're the most correct, no matter what they're doing. A lot of the times, mm. yeah, I think that's if you've true ever too. seen that. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, I think there's a, I don't know. I think there's a, I think a lot of people, a lot of viewers, um, look at this and they see it as the the like text in a box. They don't see, they don't believe, or they don't really uh, internalize that there's real people involved that there's real stuff that people don't like being lied about and so they're okay they're very cavalier with their willingness to s repeat things to say things to call people names because to, you know pe i think there's like this mental gap of like oh there's not there's not a real person this is like the tv you know and i think that's a problem I think oh no i think people definitely thing. when when they go online and everything it, they it just feels like it feels it feels a little fake i'm not gonna lie like when i was when i was there and i was uh in the in the discord i mean i'm not gonna say i get like super you no know, starstruck or anything yeah. but going from i don't know just being in my college dorm and like watching yeah. politics to be sitting in the discord with everyone I'm like what's happening um it, it it does i don't know you don't realize how fake it i guess it feels until yeah. you realize that it's real yeah it's wild and uh yeah it's it, it's hard and, and i don't know i don't know how we cross that gap i know that like we don't have a lot of help from like tech companies you know they don't do a whole lot to encourage that because it's in their favor that like you know, people just engage as much as they can um, because that, that gets the ad clicks, that gets the everything. And hate drives a lot of engagement. Hate drives a lot of engagement, especially when it's like when people feel like they can jump on board and, and sort of like, yeah, we're doing a good thing. I mean, and I think there's certain rhetoric that encourages that. I think that like constantly framing people as like morally bad, making every issue like a massive moral issue instead of like a misunderstanding. I think these can um, very, very uh, significantly contribute to uh, that sort of mentality and that sort of thing unfolding but yeah yeah i think there's a i think that's part of it for sure and i do think that there's a a bandwagoning effect that people feel reinforced when they're in a uh, a a chat that's moving fast and and people are saying this person's so bad and it's like yeah we got to take them down and everything like that and people go and do wild shit and it, it sucks so, but i don't know i maybe maybe we'll make progress i certainly try to i try to remind my uh i i remind my audience that i am just an internet per i am just an internet political edutainer and that this isn't the revolution, this isn't anything like that, this isn't uh, the, the truest take, the truest truth finding you'll ever find. I do my best. I try to be honest, and I try to present my points, but I also try to do so as honestly to the audience as possible, because I'd like to keep, I'd like my my audience to keep their head on the, you know, their feet on the ground, uh, if that makes sense. Still there? Did I lose you? Oh, Shark, did I lose you? Shark, you're muted. I lost you. Hello. Hey, are you back? Yes, I am. Sorry. Oh, I, for, fine. I, I keep forgetting one of my um, Discord mutes is tied to a button that I normally oh, press. Oh, no. 
I just I don't talk to that many people in Discord that often, so oh, I, I keep forgetting to change it. Yeah, I think that happened a lot on the panel tonight. People's mics were like blown out. I'm like, oh no, you got to turn off the auto gain on your. You got to turn off auto gain in 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 Discord. If you leave it in the default settings, it will just make you be like, <laughs> which is what we had. But I know that yeah, you because, sound like a um, yeah like a sub a subwoofer from a, a tricked out fucking Nissan Altima. Yeah, that's um, driving by block, you really you know? fast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's <laughs> just it, terrible. Yeah, it's just like, it, I mean, it happens. And I like, I feel for people because like Discord is, first of all, Discord, like its default settings are meant to be like user friendly, not, not like optimized. So people go in with the basic user settings, having, you know, using different software, Zoom or whatever for different types of calls. They come into Discord and it's like all fucked up and it's just like, oh God, that sucks. But for, for being such terminally online people, apparently we're all such complete boomers when it comes to our, the true. technology that, that helps mean, run true. our job. I mean, I, I've gotten better about it over time. I mean, I'm still a boomer on some things, but I, I don't know. I've, I, I've, you know, I've, I've learned a lot. People, people, you know, the more you got to use it, the more you learn. It's just, you know, people don't have a reason to go explore those settings sometimes. So. Oh, yeah. definitely. Um, but no, yeah, like harassment has always been a really big thing on the, on the Twitch community. I remember we, I, I try, I try to cover it, um, as much as I can. I remember, we did an interview with um uh, the the ever amazing Merrick. Uh, yeah, Merrick and also I, I, I yeah, we we love Merrick here. Yeah, we love Merrick. Um, I think Merrick's in chat, or Merrick I, was in chat earlier. Are they really? Yeah, yeah, Wild. Merrick was. Yeah, Wild Merrick stuff. is amazing. Um, uh, yeah, there's Merrick. Yep, Merrick's in chat. Uh, we love Merrick. Let's I, yeah, go. I, I had a. I don't know if you ever saw my my uh, fucking groundbreaking breaking news interview with Merrick, where Merrick happened to come on my show to talk for like to do an interview about the harassment while the uh the, the the whole thing where people were saying that uh she was the nashville bomber or whatever um that happened while while she was live was on my show it was wild mind blowing mind blowing mind blowing yeah. that people just like meme like that i can't yeah. i can't imagine um just like doing that i don't know i just maybe maybe they have been online too much and they forget that when you turn the phone off that like real life continues mm. i don't i don't understand it mm. um personally but uh, one thing one thing that i want to do is like try to help with online harassment i feel like people really uh get gung-ho and kind of forget that we live in the real world um and that the stuff that you do online does follow people um yeah it's just it's just kind of wild i think um really informing people like just talking to people yeah right um and the more that we're online um kind of kind of helps a little bit yeah. Uh, I think Twitch has got. I think Twitch has definitely gotten better. I think the online space has definitely gotten better. Uh, um, in but, some ways, yes. In some ways, no. Uh, I think Twitch is in a rough spot. Um, honestly, have, yeah, I was. We, I was expecting. Yeah, I was expecting YouTube to be like worse. I think YouTube comments are worse, but YouTube chat is actually fantastic. We actually have very little problems um, in YouTube chat. Um, and now Twitch chat, we constantly get, we get so much transphobia and I don't even know, like, I don't know where that started, but I mean, like we've always had that, but Jesus Christ, we've, it's gotten even worse lately. I don't know what the heck's going on. I, I, I don't know. I think Twitch has a couple of missing tools that would be very, very helpful, um, for moderation. Um, but also I think if they took a, a little bit more of a serious stance towards like serial harassment, like if you have an account that's getting, um, banned in every single chat. Um, they should probably look into that account. And there may be a problem said. going on. Yeah, I mean, these some of these accounts, like, um, some of these accounts are like, I, I click on them, they're saying, like, it's like troll bot stuff, but then you click on the account, and it's like, no, wait, this is an account that ha is, like, subbed to other people. This is an account that's been around for a while, and it's like, this person just coming in and dumping raw transphobia into my chat. It's like, ban them. Then they go over to another one of my, like, you know, colleagues and do the exact same thing, and it's like, how hard is it for for Twitch to go like, hey, we've gotten multiple reports on this person. Let's go look at their message logs. Oh shit, they've been dropping slurs in multiple people's chats. Yeah, we should probably perma ban this person from the platform. Um, yeah, I can it's think wild. of a couple. Some people even know like Juche Gang. There's this person named Juche Gang who um, sends like like the weirdest uh, hate you can imagine slurs. Sometimes uh, even I think death I've threats. seen that person around. Yeah, yeah, they're infamous. They're infamous. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I Imagine think in some ways, like you actually have nothing better to do with your life than than run around and get banned in, in Twitch chats. Like, are you okay, buddy? Yeah, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't understand the mentality. But all I know is that, like, um, while we try to figure out the mentality that creates people like that or whatever that, that whatever people need like that to to be re rehabilitated or whatever uh, you want to say, um, I sure wish that in the meantime we would get the tools that we we need to protect our communities. Because like it can become very. And Twitch moderation is just like awful. It's just really it bad. Yeah, it is. It's rough. 
some of the, the tools thing is, like I, for YouTube an individual has, go ahead no please go ahead no, youtube has i think youtube honestly in the last um couple of months uh mm-hmm. especially near nearing the end of 2020 took some really big steps to like clean up their community like yeah. honestly yeah they have. um when when they yeah, when they added those uh, new rules and regulations when it comes to like um, uh, pushing for supremacy, and that bumped off people like Stefan Molyneux, mm-hmm. who I honestly never thought would get like um, clipped by uh, uh, by moderation like that. I was like, wow. Well, I mean, Stefan Molyneux's uh, content is disgusting. There's like a lot of people who are still up there whose content is just raw, and like you can find many examples of it. I think there's a lot of room to go. Um, you know, oh, there's definitely like there's a so lot much to talk about with like deplatform. I thought we were gonna talk uh, when when Dylan said there was a deplatforming topic or the de- deplatforming round. Uh, I thought he was referring to the topic, and I was like, "Oh shit, we're gonna." Oh get yeah, to talk me about too. This. I was yeah. like, "Oh sick, I get to I get to yell at um critically thinking vegan yeah. about um deplatforming." <laughs> that that, that killed the chat, by the way, when you called him critically thinking vegan. That was good. Oh, I've always I've always called him critically thinking vegan ever since he uh um I, I talked to him about. Um, making all of Africa into a single state oh, and then yeah, putting yeah. nuclear power plants every three miles to desalinate water and then turn into a rainforest. <sighs> God, I remember that. I remember this take. Uh, he also Holy he means. also believes that the United States should just expand to um, absorb the entire world. It's it's, it's not serious. There'd be no more wars. Serious. I mean, come on now. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But all the wars that we would need to get there. I mean, just ignore those. Let's brush those under the rug. Yeah, yeah but after the war is done, there's no wars. Yeah. Oh yeah. True. True. Yeah. I guess you're right. Uh, yeah, like like Sprouticus said, you know, I mean, Sprouticus. Um, is, we'll oh just, we just gotta just gotta drop in and you know forget I'm, about the I'm rest. I'm amazed that I'm amazed we'll that. that he can. I'm amazed that he can operate his camera for for stream because some of those takes. <laughs> Sprout are so, is such an incredible so stupid. specimen he is of an, a human he is, being. That's true. He is an incredible specimen. Um, I never thought that I, I didn't think that I was gonna hear uh, invade Cuba on behalf of this like 1,000 person protest. Um, that was a bit of a take. That that one threw me for a. Uh, that one threw me for a loop, for sure. I'll say that much. I'm not going to lie. That did really surprise me. And I remember last panel he was on. I'm not sure if you were there, mm-hmm. where he said that Nazi rhetoric doesn't lead to violence. I was like, man, I, I guess this is like the, the lengths of just incredible takes. But no, he's he's packed full of them, like a Christmas <sighs> stocking on a good boy's Christmas Eve. Yeah, I I, uh, I don't have a lot of respect for his takes. Let's just put it that way. Um, I've, I've been on two or three panels with him and, uh, well, look, the right, I think they're sending their best. It's just, um, they just don't measure up to everybody else. Let's just put it that way. When the right sends her people, she isn't sending her best. Yeah, exactly. There you go. You got it. Fucking repurpose that. (laughs) Hell yeah. Well. I actually love that line. Yeah. Just about it. It's funny. It's, it's way down compared to like, I'm going to come because I'm going to come. I'm going to come. It's classic. I'm going to come. Yeah, it's a good one. I'm gonna come. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. Do not ones. come. Do, do not come. I'm gonna come. That one. That one's got, <laughs> gotten a lot of popularity lately. It deserves it. It's a good. It's a good one liner. It, de- it deserves it, honestly. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Um, wait, what? Oh, come on. Somebody just tagged me in. NBC Miami has reported there are Cuban Americans this weekend that want to take their personal boats to Cuba with guns, water, and food to foment a revolution. The U.S. Coast Guard is warning them, please do not. Oh my God, bro! What's happening? Oh my God, it's is it going to be the Trump going back? It's it's going to be the it's a bunch of Trump boats with Trump flags. They're just going to go in and like knock each other over with their own wake. Oh please! Oh my God, that would be hilarious. It'd be terrible, but it would also oh, Trump be Trump boats too. That'd be incredible. Yeah, exactly. The fucking Trump boat parade where they all sunk each other with their own wake because they were so irresponsible. Love it. Oh my God, I love it. Like, can you imagine be rich being rich enough that you're like, oh no, I sunk my boat this weekend. Damn like, it. I guess I will have to buy another one. Damn it. Damn it. No, my Oof. mini yacht. My mini yacht. My... It's the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, now, now we're going to have to drive the main yacht around. Oh, this is my winter uh, yacht. This is my winter yacht. Uh, my fucking winter <laughs> yacht. Listen. Seasonal yachts. I think it was, what is it, uh, Betsy Betsy DeVos? Is that her name? Betsy DeVos? Is she the one who had like a... Old education secretary? Yeah, the, the yacht with the yacht inside of it. And then like her entire family yeah. owned like 15 yachts. She's just like, what the fuck? You think you think you got think you got a few too many yachts there? Think you got a few more no, than you might need? Never enough yachts. Come on, you know. I know. Listen, you know, you, you know what? You never what? know when you need your mini yacht. Yeah, but Good you never know when you need an entire personal fleet of yachts that um that can uh 
I guess you could have a I guess you could have a cookout on all fifteen at once. Yeah. Yeah. Into the thick of it. And so you have the big yacht that carries two small yachts, and each of those small yachts carry two jet skis. So you can go in between them. Wow. That sounds super pog, although very dangerous. If your jet ski got knocked over, you'd probably get shredded by the engines. Have you ever been on a jet ski? Oh uh, yeah, I have many times. I used to be terrified of jet skis, um, and then I learned to drive them, uh, and then I was just slightly less scared, um, and then I got pretty much not scared anymore. Um, but I used to be terrified of jet skis. Um, my dad had a couple of jet skis when he uh, lived on the lake. Um, in a very, I lived in a super rural state, so you know, you want to have fun. I don't know. You hope your dad has a jet ski, I guess, and then you boat around. Yeah, go or, or you take the kayak, and or... then somebody with a jet ski runs you over, which that happens too. Yeah, but. You you and you and your buddies just do an entire can of Copenhagen um, chewing tobacco. Just, totally, you know, yeah. Good old times. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, uh, Shark, thank you so much for coming on. It was good, great talking with you. Like I said, ton of respect for you. I think you did fantastic tonight, and uh, and uh, you know you got you got it stolen from you too. But don't worry about it. All yeah. Right? Thanks I, I even have my own like WWE like World Heavyweight Championship belt. Damn, you were, you were you were prepared. Bad. You had your own in advance. I, I you don't got to worry about anything. I should have done that. <laughs> yeah. I should have had my own. I should have just bought my own, given it to myself. You should. You yeah, should. But I'll thank, thank you so much. I did want to. I did. I want to come on. Just you know, when yeah. when we were watching your stream, you didn't you didn't seem too too happy. So well, I, I was pretty frustrated. Like, hey, you know, yeah, right. I mean, I'm just a little tired of it. You know, like it, it got a little out of hand. It felt pretty unfair, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. I accepted. I accepted the loss on the show. You know, people are gonna say whatever they want about me, but uh, I don't really care. <laughs> you know, I've gotten pretty much to the point where I don't really care what people say. Uh, I, I, I mean, okay, that's not entirely true. It still gets to you sometimes, but I've gotten better. Oh it. yeah, yeah. Never let, never uh, let them see you cry, Demon Mama. We love yeah, you. All right. Uh, don't Take worry. care of yourself. I never cry. <sighs> I'm so tough. All right. Power. See you later. Have a good night. Bye. All right. Hold on a second. How do I? Why? There we go. Well, that was fun. That was a good conversation. That was a fun conversation. I am like. Super